Hello everyone, this is R. Sisikala, Assistant Professor, Department of Psychology at Dr. MGR Educational and Research Institute. So I am going to share you about the introduction of sports psychology. In the topic of sports psychology, we are going to see about the introduction to sports psychology, history of sports psychology, importance of sports psychology and role of sports psychologists. In the introduction part, we are going to see about what is sport, what is psychology and what is sport psychology. Sport is a physical activity. Psychology is a study of human behavior, whereas when it is combined together, sport psychology is the study of how psychological factors influence sports, athletic performance, exercise and physical activity. It is also defined as the study of psychological factors influence the person to participate in sport and exercise. When we look into the definition, according to M. L. Kamlesh, sports psychology is the application of psychological principles to sport and physical activities at all levels of skill development. Next, when we look about our history of sports psychology, Coleman Roberts III, 1893 to 1966, he is the first father of sports psychology. During 1800s, psychologists conducted research experiments on studying athletic performance. In 1898, research study involving cyclists, Norman Triplett found that cyclists increased their speed during competition. And in 1898, our first sports psychology study has been conducted. Until 1920s, the quest for psychological knowledge to increase athletic performance was carried. In 1920s, the psychologist Walter Miles experimented with techniques to improve the reaction time of football offensive lineman after a ball hike. Despite various sports psychologist research in the late 19th and 20th century, Coleman R. Griffith is commonly recognized as first sports psychologist. Griffith opened an athletic research laboratory at the University of Illinois in 1925. In 1925, Griffith published an article, Psychology and its Relation to Athletic Competition. He also published a couple of books, namely Psychology of Coaching and Psychology of Athletes. Russia and Germany led the way in establishing the importance of working with athletes to improve performance. During 1932, the Athletic Research Laboratory dissolved due to lack of money. There was only minimal work in the subject of sports psychology between the 1930s and the 1960s. Sports psychology began in the field in the Soviet Union shortly after World War II. It is widely assumed that Eastern European teams used the sports psychologists at the 1960 Melbourne Olympics. The first World Congress of Sports Psychology was held in Rome, Italy in 1965. Since the field of sports psychology discipline is an emerging field, it was here that the Internationalization Society of Sports Psychology, ISSP, was born. ISSP inspired the development of several other professional organizations of sports psychology across the globe, including the North American Society for the Psychology of Sport and Physical Activity in 1996, the French Society of Sports Psychology in 1967, the Canadian Society for Psychomotor Learning and Sports Psychology in 1969, and the German Association of Sports Psychology in 1969. In the late 1960s and 70s, physical education as an academic discipline was firmly taking hold in the United States. Professors were asked to begin research programs in all the sports sciences. Curriculums were revised to include more academic sports science coursework and graduate programs were developed. In the late 1970s and 1990s, that sports psychology came as both as a science and an area of professional practice. The Association of Sports Psychology was established in 1986, established its certified consultant designation in 1991, and continues to be the largest applied sports psychology organization in the world. In the era 2000 to present, International Journal of Sports Psychology changed its name to the International Journal of Sport and Exercise Psychology. IJSEP in 2002. The British Psychological Society also developed a sport and exercise psychology division in 2004. The Journal of Sports Psychology in Action, published by the Association for Applied Sports Psychology in 2010. 
the sports psychology becomes increasingly popular through media outlets and social networking. Olympics and professional athletes continue to work with sports psychology specialists. With the growth of both the science and practice of sports psychology, a number of major changes are occurring in the field today. So next, when we come to the importance of sports psychology, it helps to understand and work more on the intensity towards the work. Psychological inventories like self-esteem, self-concept tension, mood, hostility and a variety of other personality qualities might be assessed. Determining the characteristics of instructors and coaches. Psychological illnesses might be evaluated. Sport and exercise assist to discharge of emotions through socially acceptable routes. This also boosts confidence and self-esteem. While preparing for a competition, simple psychological skills too can help athletes manage their competitive performance environment. Some of these skills include relaxation skills, example, progressive muscle relaxation, autogenic training, etc. Attentional styles and types of concentration, both kinesthetic and visual imagery, self-talk. Mainly, sports psychology helps athletes to get prepared in prior of the competition, that is called pre-competition, and during the competition, also after the competition, which is called as post-competition. And at last, to know about the role of sports psychologists, here are some listed below. Sports psychologists teach cognitive and behavioral strategies to help athletes improve their experiences, athletic performance, and mental wellness when participating in sports. They can assist with performance enhancement, motivation, stress management, anxiety control, or mental toughness. They can also help with injury rehabilitation, team building, burnout, or career transitioning. Sports psychologists don't just work with athletes. They also work with coaches, parents, administrators, fitness professionals, performers, organizations, or everyday exercises to demonstrate how we can utilize exercise, sport, and athletics to enhance our lives and psychological development and thank you for all to watching this video